Hi Juan, uh, Stuart here mate. Uh, just trying to do a quick video for you just to help you out with the uh, creepage and all that sort of stuff. So mate, look, what I've got here is I've opened up this multi-sim file of the speaker protection and I think it's an older file because it doesn't seem to have the same layout or the same component num numbers as what you've got um, on your latest version over here on your board. But based on the resistor values um, I've I've and the component layout I've pretty well worked out that this R4 over here is um, equivalent to the R6 here on your board so R6 is a 56k and over here is 56k and it says that it's running from there to the base of Q2 so um, if you look over here, this R6 is running down to the base of this um, transistor here. I'm assuming this Q3 is, Q2 is now Q3, uh, just because it's an old schematic file. So anyway, this is the trace here that we're interested in here. I'm just going to show you how to check one of these. So this, this trace here is the same as this trace here running to the base. Okay. Now the voltage on that one at the moment, peak, is um, you know about one and a half volts basically one and a half volts um, okay so one and a half volts for that one now the next closest trace to this one on the same side of the board is this one here okay so this one if we have a look at say R4 for instance is a 390k resistor so if we go up here I'm assuming it's this one up here. So this is the 390 here and um, let's just have a quick look here. Uh, that's on that side of the resistor. Let's have a look. So what I'm looking at is just to see like these two traces. So this is our four. This is this side of the resistor, which is the same as the the fuse side or um, where the power is coming in. So I'm assuming that R4 uh, is this one here. So I need to actually move this voltage probe to up here. Okay, so this probe here is 24 volts. So when we calculate the creepage, we want to know what the voltage is between two tracks that are next to each other. So you've got 24 volts minus one and a half volts, okay? So that's 22 and a half volts. So um, this morning I did up some um, macros here to try and help you out. Um, here's sort of a macro of all of them together, but just the individual ones. So we want 22 and a half volts. So that's greater than 20 volts and less than 26 volts. So this is a little template spacer that we need and it's only half a millimeter. Um, so this is going to be more than enough room. So we can drag this in here and we can drop it in here. Now you can see here when you zoom in that that, I mean, there's nothing, no problem having wide track spacing, but if we were really push for space, that's the only amount of space that we would need between the traces. So this could be, let me just turn the snap off here if I can do it, my elbow. Um, there, so you could have a track spacing very, very close together. Okay, so that's that. Um, that's basically all the creepage and stuff is about. It's just comparing two voltages between two similar traces. Now, the other thing that we can do is that we can have a look at what the, uh, say, the current is in that trace and we can see that we've only got 56, 56, 58 milliamps in that trace. So if we go back to the um, file here that I had open earlier, which is also down here, it's this one just down here, right? And it's in this uh, creepage folder under my name. You've got all of these basically track width per uh, track widths per how much milliamps is flowing through so you can see here 
that we only had 22 milliamps. So realistically, we only need a trace width of 0 0.1 millimeters. So, I mean, what we've got here in this other file, speed protection, I mean, obviously, if you're making this board at home, you need more, you need more space. But, um, you know, you can make it at home and it'll come out a bit easier. But obviously, this, this trace here is two millimeters wide. I mean, two millimeters wide, it's saying 6.2 amps. Now, it's no big deal, but if you're trying to make the board smaller, that just might help you with um, how it all works. Um, so, um, yeah, so you can always refer back to this table here and, you know, like a two mil trace, there it is there, 6.2 amps. So there's your there's your trace there. So, you know, just something to think about when you're doing your designs. I mean, there's nothing wrong with them, but it just, you know, might make it easier when you get stuck in a bit of a layout situation just to have a look at your circuit, how much um, current is actually flowing through that node or that that trace, this this trace here, and then um, adjust your tracks. You know, you might want to go two and a half times that you might want to you know two and a half three times or even ten times who knows but at least you've got some idea of what the value is now I saw when I opened this file and on your YouTube clip this morning that the the, the power the wattage in this was quite high um, and one solution might be to um, um, on my transformer I have different I have different um, taps, so I could use a 12 volt tap or something like that rather than using this full um, 42 volt tap out of my transformer, so that might be an idea to reduce that. But anyway, just a quick video, um, just to uh, yeah have a bit of a chat. If you can save that um, speed protection somewhere where I can get it, um, that would be awesome. And um, yeah, look. I think this layout is great. I, I think it's um, come together really nicely. I, I like how, uh, I guess, using the screwing terminals and that sort of stuff. So, um, sorry, that was the wrong one. I think this is the right one. Screwing terminals and all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, um, look forward to chatting to you soon, one. Um, bye, mate.